Join me as I travel solo through India, a land of endless diversity and sensory experiences, where each destination offers its own unique adventure. Today we find ourselves in Chennai. Let's discover what wonders this quarter of India holds for us. Good morning, guys. Whew. Everybody sleep okay? I sleep really well, actually. Only maybe five hours. It's like 10.30 or something. I don't know. Don't know what the time is. Ugh. Lost my voice a bit for some reason. What's the plan? Uh, it's kind of getting out of here. I mean, it was good, you know, just to have a place to actually sleep. But yeah, I've already booked another place. It's just around the corner. I'm here till 2 a.m. or something. So actually what I'm going to do is going to go have some breakfast. Maybe have a look around. Go into that noise. See India, you know, this isn't India, this is just a, a room in India. So yeah, let's go. Whew. Okay, definitely need a coffee, <laughs> but I think I'm, I don't actually know where I am. Um, after driving around in circles, I'm not far from where I thought I would be, but no idea. I don't actually know what this place is called either. That would be a good place. Admire, admire sweet. Okay, good to know. Good to know, guys. That's where I am. Um, yep. Gonna get dressed, go for some breakfast. Great introduction there. Come have a look at Chennai with me. Good morning guys. I think it's still morning. I'm not sure. My body clock's all over the place. Welcome to Chennai, India. Wow. Uh, you're here from all the Tutin. Everybody's awake. It's a much different scene than I saw last night. Last night was just dogs and cows and dust. But now, yeah, it's, it's awake. India is awake. Chennai is awake. Cool. Well, we're going to go get some breakfast. Uh, I've booked a different accommodation. This place was fine, but yeah, it's not, not ideal. Not ideal. It wasn't my first choice. Uh, I had a lot of fun yesterday trying to work out what was going on. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, maybe I'll link it above. Uh, yeah, and right now it's kind of okay. Re, re something. <laughs> Just acclimatize, I guess. It's not that hot, but just mentally and like, yeah, time-wise, well, I just have to go in and get it. Let's go get it. I need a coffee and some breakfast, if that's what I'm eating at the moment. Let's see. Cool. I'll see you down there. This is Chennai. Oh, there's a must here. I'm not sure how much you'll be able to hear this because I don't actually know how good the uh, mic is on this yet. I think you can hear me. I think I might get up the uh, busy street. Yes. Okay, look where you're going. Look where you're going. Okay, let's go get some food. Ah. Might have a little walk first. And I did a breath work before I came. Uh, I think I'll just try and... I, I literally have no idea where I'm going. But we'll, we'll work it out. I mean, I had heard that Chennai is a bit more chill than, for example, Delhi, which... I mean, this isn't too bad. You know, you just keep watching where you're going and it's fine. Don't get run over. Or cowed. Don't get cowed over. Okay, so... I had no idea where my place was, had to mark it on the map. Um, it's so much different now than it is at 3 a.m. around here. So much more lively. I'm kind of glad. Because, yeah, it didn't feel so nice. But cool. It's alive now, which is great. I'm just going to go, yeah, find a pretty calm place to have um, some breakfast, maybe a coffee, hopefully. 
I have heard coffee is quite famous here in Chennai and I do like my coffee. Anyway, let's I'll put the camera away. I'm probably going to go into maybe that place there. Yes, so I've just come into, uh, I don't know what it's called, but this is what we have in. We're having a couple of uh, samosa. I think maybe they're veggie, I'm not sure. And and filtered, wow, filtered coffee, which is very hot. Very, very hot. Awesome. Cool. Uh, I might just put this down. Still getting used to using this thing, so bear with me, but... Okay, also still getting used to all this out here. <laughs> okay guys, let's get on this. Oh, it's very um, crispy, I guess. Mm. Very good. It comes with like a like a green green sauce. Um, not sure what it is. Kind of a little curry. And inside you can see like a kind of like a it's a vegetable vegetable paste, potato, I guess dal. Good. Quite oily. And the outside is quite good. Crispy. Very good snack. Very sweet coffee. Mm -hmm. Tastes more like tea to be honest. Yeah, it tastes a bit like, like a chai tea. I mean, it's got like cardamom. I'll give these to people watching me. I'll do that again. Hello. Yes. Second time we So again, this must be alu. Alu samosa. So I think alu is like vegetable from memory. Which is like only 15 rupees. And the coffee was 25 rupees. I'm probably going to have another coffee. Awesome. I'll get through this. I'll uh, get back to you. Okay, the coffee's come. Uh, it's a bit more like tea. I wouldn't call it black coffee, that's true. Okay, it has a coffee taste. It's a very sugary taste. It's good. I think the sugar will give me a kick more than the caffeine, but... Oh well. Maybe I need another one, but I think two is probably enough just in terms of the sugar content. All right, guys. Um, yeah, I'm gonna drink this. This is coffee, like 15 rupees. Five. Like 70? 70 cents. Which, or 70 pence. For breakfast. Not bad. Nice one. Okay guys, we're going to go for a little walk around the block and back to my place. Yeah, just see what it's all like, I guess. And yeah, and yeah. I'm trying to set myself a task to uh, be a bit more descriptive for you guys. I think this is kind of uh, maybe like the Muslim area because there's um, there is quite a big mosque down the road. I have seen quite a lot of Muslim people. <sighs> but yeah, just getting used to vlogging again. Oh, don't know. That's not going to help you, is it? Yeah, literally, we'll just have a little wonder. Uh, see what we can find around here. It's a nice sunny day. Not too hot. Maybe like 30. No, not even. Maybe like 27. Let's go 27. Oh, yeah, all these buildings, like it's such an old part of town. So, yeah, some of these buildings here, like this. Uh, 
with all like the wires and everything. Gotta watch people. Out. <sighs> I guess it's kind of how I expected it. All the dogs are gone, which is pretty great. I think my, my driver said, you know, they only really come out at night when there's nobody around. But literally there was just packs of dogs everywhere. I haven't got on a tuk-tuk yet. But I think that that's a must at some point. I think I'll go down here. I feel very calm here, although it's just got really quiet. But um, yeah, with all the noise, I thought it would be a bit overwhelming. But I think if it's just me with the noise, it's fine. Probably if I was trying to talk to someone, I think that's where I, where I get a bit overwhelmed when I'm trying to actually interact with. I guess just as a as a, as a conscious observer, uh, as a conscious observer, fine. Oh huh? uh, look, cool. It's like this little, um, I guess like almost a mandala. Here. Like for the door. I guess that's like all the, a blessing or a prayer or something. I don't know. This guy with some coconuts here. Oh, I mean, there's a lot of rubbish everywhere, you know. It's not like the cleanest part of town, that's for sure. Oh, look, here's another one of these symbols down here. Loads of guest houses though. Like, I think, like last night we walked around. Well, no, this, you know, this guy drove me around like that. I think we tried about 10, about all oh, full. Oh. He was saying it's because, maybe I've already said this, but he was saying it's because uh, there is like all the students are coming in for college. So yeah, there's like thousands of people coming in. Maybe school's just started? Not sure, not sure. But um, I guess it's kind of what I expected. Which way should we go, guys? I think that way. Nice to just be exploring, you know? Who's this guy? Dart and I. If you know, maybe let me know. I do intend to, um, I think there is like quite a big temple here somewhere. There's also Chennai Beach. Um, that'll probably come a bit later. Oh, check out this old, old building here. So I'm not sure about Chennai, but Pondicherry, which is a bit further down. It's kind of like this. It's like an X or it's a, it was. A French colony. So, yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, look at all these fish. Um, and this has kind of remnants of that in some place of some sort. I'm just going to show you this. Monica, how are you doing? You good? Yeah? People seem quite nice here. Uh, I haven't seen it. I think I saw one single foreigner when I was up on the roof just before, looking down. This is him. No one. Well, no, white people anyway, I guess, is the, the thing. There's this cool shop here with like, I think that's like all coffees and snacks. And yeah, there's a mosque here actually. You can see. I have heard like, where I've seen obviously on other people's vlogs the shouldn't really film Muslim women. I guess that's you know, it's part of the culture. Obviously they do cover up so that people can't see them. So I guess, you know, filming them is then like this act of the opposite of that. You know? Yeah. Um, so I'll try and respect those wishes. And I'll just point the camera at me. Or like up, you know. So yeah, I'm not annoying anyone. Just being a bit more mindful of uh, camera. Obviously I don't want to just keep running loads of running loads of footage of nothing, but I mean for me, 
exploring like this. It's really cool. Yeah, you just get a feel for the place. <laughs> yeah. It's nice and sunny. It would be nice to be at the beach. It's actually the main reason why I... Well, originally actually I wanted to go to Pondicherry because it's my birthday in a bit. So yeah, I wanted to be on a beach for my birthday. Yeah, I've hit Chennai. Beach isn't so great. It's quite polluted. You can't really uh, swim in it, but I don't know. I'll go have a look. I'll go down there anyway. Uh, maybe after I've moved my bags and things, go check it out. Uh, wow, there's a cool uh, like Hindu temple up here with like all the figures on the outside. I'll show you in a bit once we get there. But yeah, just being mindful, I guess, um, of trying not to just show particularly too much of myself. Actually, just point it forwards. There's no like women around. So yeah, I'm not that not that confident at the moment. Uh, I'm talking to people just yet. Obviously, the um, language barrier is there. But also, I've um, I've been well, I've been in New Zealand, Auckland, like helping my parents quite a lot. So I haven't really been out much. This is like yeah, I, don't, I haven't really spoken to people in any language, let alone Tamil. Um, so yeah, just getting out of my comfort zone now and really seeing the world again because it's been a while, you know. It's been a while. Okay, I'll show you this this temple. Check it out. Obviously, like on here, there's all the uh, Hindu gods and like stories and stuff. The mall. I know a couple. And I have my favorite, but I can't actually see. Ah, oh, there, Hanuman. Hanuman is my favorite. Yes. Ooh, it is getting, starting to get hot. I can feel. It's getting hotter. Okay, I'm gonna maybe stop filming for a bit. Try and find out where I am. I'm just gonna go in here, actually. I think this is a school. Well, you can just go have a look down here. And you see, like, yeah, it's really nice to see, like, really bright colored buildings. And obviously you can see the the mandalas or like the Hindu symbols and then yeah this is cool this guy must be I don't know what does he do maybe he's like one of the teachers here <sighs> cool nice uh, yeah I'm gonna go back to our place I think pick up the stuff and maybe go try and check in at the other place I think that's the plan Let's go, guys. Uh, I'll probably just leave this here for a little bit. Probably catch you back over there. Or if I find anything cool to film on the way, I'll see you there. Notice there's like all these faces. Well, I've noticed the one there and one here. I think. Don't quote me on it but I think like they're uh, kind of protection uh, gods they kind of scare away the demons and stuff I think that's what that is well, I don't see it on every place now look there's a little Ganesh here try another one up there and then there's like shrines everywhere oh there's that guy again check it out these are all the symbols on the floor Go shrine, 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 shrine. Uh, tells you like all the things. I don't actually know what that is. It's like a like a Hindu calendar, I think. And then, yeah, here's a little shrine in here. Maybe you can look. Uh, and this guy. Uh, anybody know who that is? It's. I can't remember. Mara, I can't remember. Maybe let me know in the comments down below. <coughs> What's it is? I think there might be Ruga maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Obviously main road this way. It's like a big temple I can see it that way. Just gonna check my phone and things and Try and get back to the place. 
before I get too lost. Okay guys, I'm just gonna stand at this, um, this crossroad for a little bit and just maybe give you a feel of so much going on here, just on this one corner. What have we got, what have we got? Obviously, loads of rubbish, stuff down here. Some tuk-tuks, some dude with his, uh, oh, this bus, there's actually buses here. Look at that, look at them though. Wow, must be so old. That's awesome. Um, yeah, tuk-tuks, people going somewhere. More buses, lots of tooting. Not as much tooting, not as much tooting as I thought there was gonna be. Nice, I'll just stand here for a little bit and you can get like a little feel for the place. It's very hot, it's getting hotter and hotter. Fortunately, I left my cap in, I say London, in Auckland, in New Zealand. Um, so I need to get a hat. I think I want to replace this bag because it doesn't feel so safe. It's, yeah, it's a bit dodgy, but it's, it's, it's okay temporarily. I got like a temporary bag because the other one was falling apart completely. But yeah, those are two things on the list that I need to get at some point. Uh, I'm not sure if that'll happen today. Maybe, maybe. Um, maybe I'll set that as a task to do. Um, but for now, yeah, let's just have a look at this. Okay, getting a bit too hot to be standing in that sun. I'm gonna head back down my place, move my bags, find the other place. I heard the other place has a garden, so, you know, that's almost an oasis in the noise. Okay, let's go. It's interesting, because I now remember all these places where I, I remember them from last night, but completely different. Such a different feel. A lot more alive. I think I, I, my place is on this on this road. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Definitely gonna need a hat soon. <laughs> cool guys. Well, yeah, I'm gonna put the camera away for a bit and just uh, walk around, try and find my place, and see what they say, and then move over to my new place. Which isn't too far, just gotta keep moving. Okay, I mean, it's a good good practice, I think, for like Delhi or something. All the Delhi is not so like the end, end, end of my um, trip. That's what I'm flying out of. But yeah, this isn't too bad. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go try and find my place. Catch you later. So I found my place, it's just over here. Um, but I'm actually gonna go not get run over. I'm gonna go down here. As you can see, I don't know, this arch here is kind of calling me for a bit. Hello! <laughs> uh, yeah, everybody seems quite nice here. Like I said, I do here. Be careful not to, um, anyway. Women here, maybe. But yeah, I just saw this. Check that out. Oh, can you see it? Yeah, yeah. Cool. I think I remember coming down here, maybe. Trying to find a room. So crazy. Check it out. Like all the buildings. Hang on, I'll show you. I'll show you, yeah? Okay, let's have a look. Now, back to the guest house. Um, what I might do though is I think I'll finish this here. Uh, this little vlog. Uh, and we'll maybe do another one while we're moving. Wow, look at this tree. Let's try and survive. And amongst all this chaos. I actually didn't go back to my guest house. Uh, I've actually just been the last hour looking for an ATM. There's like loads on Google. Uncle Google. Uh, that don't exist basically. Or there was one. It didn't take my card. I think it was because it's a MasterCard, maybe? I'm not sure. Or maybe because it's a foreign card. But yeah, so that's maybe something to think about for all you guys as well. Uh, ATMs aren't as easy as you think they might be. Which is fine, but it's just 
yeah, like an hour walking around now in the heat. A bit sweaty. Um, probably should have just gone to the next guest house. But yeah, they um, I couldn't pay for it online, so they may want cash, I'm not sure. So yeah, we'll um, see what we can do. Uh, yeah, I've heard about these actually. So there's just a shop just there, just behind me, with all these people here. And it's like a, like a metal gate on the front. And it's where you buy alcohol. And I guess like, I don't know. There's Muslim area, maybe it's a bit strange, I don't know, I don't know. But like you don't really, you don't really uh, go in and such. It's just like got a metal gate and you get your beer from it. I guess it's more like an off license, so you have to drink it somewhere else. Anyway, I'm just still trying to find an ATM. I'm gonna go to this corner, walk around, walk around the block again. I've been to about four. One was existed, but didn't take my card or something. So yeah, the fun continues. So you got the bus. Pretty cool. Oh, a foreigner. What? I've seen one of them and he just there. Still no ATM. That's number three since I've spoken to you last. So I'm gonna go back to my guest house. I'm gonna go get my bags and I'm gonna go to the new guest house. Maybe around there somewhere I can get some cash out. Or oh, they'll just take my card. Let's fingers crossed for that one, yeah? All right. Let's go. Yes. Okay, that was both. That was both eventful and non-eventful. Basically went for ATM for a long time. Really difficult. So yeah, I'm just gonna, well, I just bought some food. Might have that. Then I have a shower again, because I'm very sweaty now. And then um, pack up, head to the other guest house. I mean, I've still got like another 12 hours left on this place because, yeah, for some reason it's booked for 24 hours. Which is strange, but, yeah, that'll do. Um, yeah, so I'll just kind of slowly move to the other guest house, I think. Got a bit rushy, so now it's slow down. I guess the moral of the little story just then was ATMs. Hmm, when you got one, get some money out. Because, yeah, like, I mean, obviously the one that was at the um, at the airport, uh, that worked great. It would make sense that it did. But yeah, two now have gone, and like maybe another five or six that just were not in existence. But the two that I found didn't work for my card for some reason, but it also didn't work for somebody else as well, like a local. So I guess it was just out of cash. I'm not sure. I don't know. But something to be mindful of. I didn't actually expect to be spending this much money already. That was kind of why, you know, obviously I had to pay for this place for cash. I'd, uh, I'd paid extra for my taxi guy because he was driving me around for like two hours last night. So that's just how it is, you know? Um, yeah, I'll work it out. But now food, shower, pack up and go to the other place, I think. But slowly, slowly, decided to slow it down. Quite, um, yeah, it's strange that I'm not as tired as I thought I may be. Anyway, now I'm just rambling, so I'll leave you to it. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Until then, keep on drifting. See you.